Hello and welcome to another 1001 Beers You Must Try Before You Die. I've got an English beer, one of the few English beers I've not reviewed yet. So I've got this here. Uh, this was actually brought back by my girlfriend Rachel. Thank you very much, Rachel. She won't watch this, so um, forget that. Um, but if she does watch it, thank you. Uh, it is from England, first brewed 1989. It's 4.6% and it's got a slightly different name to what it used to be called. So it used to be called... Dorothy Goodbody's Wholesome Stout, but it's now just Wholesome Stout. They've dropped Gar Dorothy Goodbody, who is kind of like, by the looks of the old label, some sort of buxom wench. Um, and probably quite sensibly, they've dropped the slightly misogynist, sexist um, name. I mean, some people may just scream over that. Uh, they they could have still had the name Dorothy Goodbody, because there's nothing... I just Before I saw the picture, it just sounded like a granny, to be honest. Oh, if you want to go see old granny, good buddy. Um, like Dorothy is an older name. Anyway. Dotty, good buddy, granny, dotty. Right. Uh, so, this what this is from Y Valley Brewery, I forgot to say. Um, when former Guinness brewer Peter Amor set up his own brewery in 1985, there's only one beer he wants to brew. Uh, it's an old, it's basically uh, sort of a tribute to the old-fashioned brood of Guinness. Um... Pure malt, roasted barley, flaked barley, North Down hops. Uh, it's been widely held as a classic example of a simple stout. Well, I hope it, I hope it's best than just a simple stout. Um, I'm probably not going to go into the whole uh, the whole Dorothy Goodbody thing because it's kind of gone now. Um, they gave her a backstory and everything of being a hot grower's daughter who developed an interest in brewing. They made it out as though she actually brewed it, even though... It was clearly not very bad woman. Um, but uh, it was named Champion Winter Beer of Britain in 2002 and has been brewed all year round. So, without further ado, let's see what it says in the back. So, I, so Y Valley have gone through a bit of, of rebranding of late. Um, I think every rebranding looks lovely. I think really, really classy. I've had some other what beers as well. Um, it's from Stoke Lacey in Herefordshire. 4.6% smooth dark beer, wholesome stout. Wholesome stout is a dark, full body delight with intense roasted barley flavours and a dry bitter finish, boasting roasted coffee notes and plenty of hot flavour. This bottle conditioned beauty is a smooth and seriously satisfying stout to savour. Okay, doesn't say much else. Ah, this thing saying camera says this is real ale, so bits of stout. So let's see if it, how it pours. It might have a bit of yeast in the bottom there. Now, I'm a big fan of stouts, a big fan of, of traditional English stouts, so this, oh, I've got high hopes. Everyone tells me this is a lovely beer, so I've got very, very high hopes for it. I'm hoping I'm going to, to get it all in this one glass. It's got a massive head on it. I'll leave a little bit in the bottom, it does say it's bottle condition, so let's leave that there. Uh, nice big head. Let's, uh, let's just have a taste now while it sits around. Wholesome stout pours almost black with a feisty, boisterous beige head. Yes, it is feisty. It's going everywhere. Mocha and toffee with a hint of licorice on the nose, followed by a dry roast burnt chocolate maltiness and surprising clean dry finish that leaves a hint of hoppy buzz. Right, so it is almost black. The head is quite lively. Mocha and toffee with a hint of licorice on the nose. Right. See if I can smell through this head. Oh yeah, I did really can. I'm definitely getting the mocha, so the chocolate and coffee kind of smell. And I do get hint hint of like like aniseed, like licorice. And I don't like licorice to taste. I'm hoping it doesn't taste with licorice. Dry roast, burnt chocolate maltiness, clean finish with a hoppy buzz. Well, I think we should go in for the taste. Cheers. Very malty, very toasty, very malt, very, um, very roasty, toasty. I'd say it tastes like quite a simple stout, but I do kind of like that. Clean, dry finish. At least a little bit of a bitter aftertaste. I'll be honest. Uh, hoppy buzz, not really. 
uh, English it's called English shops, so they're not the star of the show. With stouts, it's really about the malts. Let's be honest. Um, excuse me, it's quite gassy. Um, I'll be honest, it's it's fine. I wouldn't call it exceptional. People have said it's lovely. Someone gave me a bottle of it. I'd definitely drink it. Or if it was on, if it was on, I'd love to try some cask. Actually, I imagine we'd love you on cask. But it's 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 good. It's not as good as I, I prefer. So there's another wide valley beer in the book, which is HPA Hereford Pale Ale. That's lovely. That still better than this one. I think that's still their best beer by a country mile. I'm happy drinking it. It's just not. It's very simple. It's not complex. It very much does what it says in the tin, uh, kind of um, kind of beer. It's a bulk standard stout. Fine, happy with that. I will go and drink the rest. There's no problem. I'll go sit this for the next hour or so. And yeah, fine. It's one of those beers. Like it's perfectly. It's a serviceable beer. Uh, I'd probably drink it again at some point if you know if there wasn't anything more exciting available. I'm glad I've had it, but it isn't what I'm set the world alight. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, I'm going to leave it there. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you for another beer review soon.